Hello everyone, thank you back to my channel. This is Grant, the channel is called Grow With Me, and here I talk about IT, cybersecurity, and related certifications to help you grow within the field or to get an entry level job within IT and cybersecurity. Today I have a pretty good video for you. We're gonna go over the LPI Linux Essentials exam and how it can be important and helpful for your career and the skills that you get from taking a certification. Before we get started, if you like videos like this, if you feel that my channel is helpful, please smash that like and subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you can be first to receive notifications when I release a new video. So today we have a pretty exciting topic we're going to explore that's not only going to help you level up in your IT career, but it's going to help you explore and understand more about computing, cloud computing, system administration, and all things related to IT. Yes, we're going to talk about the Linux Essentials exam. So let's deep dive into the world of Linux and the endless possibilities that can come from this. Before we dive into the specifics of the LPI uh, Essentials exam, let's talk about why Linux matters so much for your career. Linux is the foundation of cybersecurity and information technology. Reliability, security, and versatility make it the preferred choice for running servers, network devices, and critical information technology infrastructure. In cybersecurity, Linux is integral for ethical hacking, penetration testing, and securing network. Its open source nature allows experts to scrutinize and enhance security, making it robust against immersing cybersecurity threats. Learning Linux is key to opening many doors in the world of information technology and cybersecurity. Efficiency in Linux opens doors for many opportunities such as system administration, penetration testing, security engineering, and systems engineer, DevOps engineer, cloud architect, you name it. <laughs> there are many opportunities that come from knowing and being proficient in Linux. Organizations actively seek Linux professionals and they offer competitive salaries, benefits, and career growth to those who have advanced Linux certifications, such as certified information security specialist. And these sort of certifications can further grow your, your career and widen the opportunities that are available to you. All right, so let's talk about now more specifically about the exam and how you succeed. For me, understanding every exam, the very base of it is understanding the different domains and how they're weighted. So the key sections, domain 103, 20% of the exam, um, and it consists of mastering the, the Linux command line. And guys, we'll get more into that. I would say that's the most important portion to master, obviously, weighing, weighing 20%. But that's gonna be the, the area that I focused on um, most heavily when studying for this exam. Domain 107, which is 15% of the exam, and it's focused on system administrative tasks. And then domain 105, which in addition to 107 is worth 15% of the exam, and it's related to prioritizing scripting and data management. Let's talk about just foundational knowledge that you need to ensure that you have a solid grasp of device file, file system installation methods. So you wanna make sure that you prioritize your studying efforts accordingly, focusing on the key sections that are weighted the most heavily. So let's talk about how you can complete this exam in two weeks. Because yes, this is something that I did. I really zoned in on this exam. I realized the importance of it and I was able through hype being hyper-focused to pass this exam in just two weeks. I accomplished this personally, and I think that you can as well, given the exact same amount of attention and hyper-focus. Step one, we're just gonna go ahead and set the stage. Plan your schedule. Start by creating a detailed study schedule that goes over the next two weeks, day by day, and which domains that you're gonna cover on each day, and how you're gonna quiz yourself, and how you plan to remember. Allocate specific time blocks for specific tasks and specific domains and ensure that throughout those time blocks that you give Linux Essentials material your full focus. Take your phone, turn it off, put it to the side, focus nothing but on the material. But you also have to remember, you have to be realistic with the amount of time that you can study each day. I myself, I'm a parent, I have two children, I have a third grade son and I have a 11 month old son. So I have to prioritize my, my parental responsibilities above studying, um, then when I put them to bed, then I devote the amount of time that I have left where I can stay awake to studying. So it was very important for me to make sure that I allocated my time in during times that I knew that I would actually be able to study so that way I could hold myself accountable. Make sure that you gather your resources. 
You want to have a very wide variety of resources, but you want to have them in order and you want to have them readily available for you so that there are no obstructions when it's time to study. In my case, I use Jason Dion's course that is on Udemy um, in his practice exams. And I also use the Cisco Networking Academy's course, which is free. And I'll show you a clip of that here. Um, and this course I really like because it allowed me to study the material, but then on the right side of the screen, there was a Linux CLI that I was able to utilize while I went through studying very helpful for me passing this exam in the time frame that I suggested. So let's talk about the, the resources that I use. So let's start with Jason Dion. I would first begin with enrolling in Jason Dion's Udemy course. I can't stress how on point his courses are. And so after taking the Capitia trifecta and using his courses for all three of them, I thought it would be very beneficial for me to stick with the teacher that I already had success with. So his Udemy course, and I'll have it linked below, and you can see it here, um, it was amazing. It's a very short course, um, and it has very robust material. It gets straight to the point and focuses directly on what you'll experience in the exam and those topics related to, that, to those things. His course is structured to align with the LPI's Linux Essentials exam. This in itself makes it an invaluable resource for me personally. Make sure that you dive into the content, truly deep dive into the content so that you get the most out of it that you can possibly ascertain. Jason's teaching style simplifies the entire process of every topic that I've watched making it for a much easy, easy, easier uh, listen and more, comp and more comprehensible input for your brain. Practice exams. His course comes with, uh, I believe, four pra practice exams. It is extremely valuable to utilize these as they do the best job, in my opinion, of pulling out the information that you've studied. The practice exams are how you get a realistic depiction of what it's like to take the test and how you truly find out what areas you're strong, weak, or need to do more time studying in. So it's one thing to go through the course, it's another to do the practice exam. And I personally recommend if you have any experience with Linux, maybe doing the practice exams before you go through this course, that way you can you will know which areas you need to focus on the most. For my second resource, the Cisco Networking Academy's Linux Essentials course. I found this to be extremely valuable and along with Jason Dion's course, I use these two together to pass this course, to pass the LPI Linux Essentials in just two weeks. Sign up just directly on their website. It allows you to create a free account and then you have access to the LPI Linux Essentials course. Make sure that you follow along with the lab as these labs provide hands-on experience and real-world practice Linux experiences that I think are extremely applicable and useful for your time when you sit down and take the exam. Make sure that while you're in the command line that you take the time out to experiment and troubleshoot. I felt that this was very valuable too because I was able to discover even more information and super cool things about the kernel that I would have not just known by just going through strictly the course material. So it is a full on lab. If you want, if you want to go through and manipulate the files, if you want to go through and grep, make sure that you do those things so that you have more of a broader understanding of how Linux works. As with this certification, just like many others, consistency and dedication is key. So let's talk a little bit about being consistent with your studies. So we talked about creating a study schedule and plotting the days out for days, days out where you can allocate time for studying. Make sure you stick to that schedule. Try not to miss too many days as this will push you further out from your testing day and ultimately completing your goal. Especially if you have a very tight timeline, consistency is even more key in situations like that because you have to take an opportunity of the time that you do have available. So stick to your schedule, be consistent. So during your study sessions, it is very important to limit distractions. Take your phone, turn it off, put it to the side, try to make sure that you stay away from YouTube. Give Linux your undivided attention during the times that you're studying it, studying it and you will make far further doing it this way. I like to do something called the Pomodoro Method. If you're not sure of what that is, you can just do a quick YouTube search. Not gonna explain it too much here, but that's the way that I learn best. 
make sure that you stay committed to your ultimate goal. You understand that completing this exam in two weeks is gonna take a lot of de dedication and consistency. And even sometimes it'll take sacrifices, like in my particular situation. Make sure to keep your end goal in mind and stay focused. You know what you want out of this. If you have goals for your career, this is part of your path. Make sure that you keep that bigger goal in mind so that you stay on task and complete this within your allowed time. So it, why it's very important to stay focused, stay consistent and dedicated, it's also very important to review and assess your current position to determine how much more learning you need to do. I would recommend regularly reviewing. Go back and review topics that you've already covered. If you find yourself bored, you find yourself stuck or in a place where you don't feel like studying, go back and review previous sections that you've already learned about just to help further enhance those areas so that you know more about them. This is part of that staying consistent, right? Um, making sure that there are no holes in your game. Go back and study other sections, brush back up on them, so that way when you get to the end and you take the exam, you don't score so poor on a section that was covered, you know, two weeks ago, right? Make sure that you assess your progress. Continuously assess your progress with my recommendation using practice exams and also labs. I think these are the best way to truly pull out what you know and what you do not know and firm those up so that you know exactly what you need to go back and study. That's just my take on this. But let's talk about, I know we, we did a brief inter, introduction about it at the beginning, but let's go, just before we end the video, let's go a little bit in, into more about the benefit of having Linux understanding, knowledge, and this certification and what it can do for you, not only just now, but in the future, in a world where cybersecurity threats are growing on the daily. So Linux is set to play a pivotal role in the future of our world and in cybersecurity. Much like software development has transformed the tech industry, cybersecurity seeks to do the same. Here's why it matters. It's a versatile backbone to cybersecurity. Powering servers, IoT devices, and cloud infrastructures. Its open source nature allows for continuous security enhancements. Leading cloud providers completely depend on Linux. Linux experts are essential for securing cloud environments and data that's hosted in the cloud. Ethical hacking and testing. Ethical hackers and penetration testers use Linux as their primary platform. Linux proficiency is essential for assessing cybersecurity incidents, vulnerabilities, and system security. There's also a high demand for Linux experts. Linux skilled cybersecurity professionals are in high demand, commanding competitive salaries and career growth. Certifications like the CISSP and the CEH used in Linux and cyber and in the cybersecurity field. In summary, Linux is much more than just an operating system. It's the cornerstone for all future cybersecurity. Its versatility, prevalence, and open source name make it indispensable and in safeguarding our world that is growing cyber. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. I know it's kind of a short video, but this exam was kind of short. And I really think that with the Cisco Networking Academy Lab and Jason Dion and Jason Dion's course, I think that's all you really need to pass this compared to the CompTIA certifications where I use five or six different courses plus practice exams um, because the material was so dense. I think Linux is much more straight to the point um, and, it, and it's, it's much, much more about the skill um, opposed to just regurgitating and, and answering multiple choice questions. But thank you for joining. If you found this video informative, please take a second to hit that like and subscribe button. It really does, means the world to me and helps my channel out so much so that I can continue to bring you all content that is relevant to your career. Don't forget if you have any questions or if you would like me to cover any specific sort of certifications or topics within the tech industry, please leave a comment below. I always read those and I do my best to respond. As I'm out of here, I just want one more thing. Just remember, Linux is more than an operating system. It is the gateway to future job growth and skills within tech and cybersecurity. Best of luck with your LPI Linux Essentials certification. And if you have any questions, I'm here to answer. Guys, until next time, peace.